What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to summarize text in Node.js using AI models from Hugging Face. So the first thing, as you can see, I just have this empty index.js file. And firstly, I just want to initialize our Node app by running npm um, in it. And I just want to just click enter because I don't care about any of these details. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to install xcnova slash transformers dash dash save so for example if you don't know what um hugging face is or what this uh, package is it would be very useful for you to go ahead and check my hugging face video just to kind of get the basics um but to summarize it hugging face is like a hub or think of it as a um yeah just like a hub with a lot of open source um, AI models and Xenova slash transformers is basically a package that allows us to use those models basically. So I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Okay. So now that it's done installing, I want to go into the, my package.json and I want to specify that I want this to behave more like a module rather than a, like rather than common JS, I want this to be a module not common JS so that I can use the latest ES features. So now I can come here and I can say import and I want to import pipeline, not from stream, but I want to import it from the, the package that we just installed. Okay. And then once I've done installing it, I want to basically initialize now a pipe for us to use. For example, you wouldn't be able to use a weight outside of a function or without any sync if your package uh, your package was still a common JS. Okay, so I want to say a weight pipeline and I want to specify what type of pipeline or what type of a pipe I'm setting up. I'm setting up a summarization pipe and you can actually come here and specify, specify the exact model that you want to use by fetching that um, or looking at models in Hugging Face. But we're just going to leave it um, unsupplied because if you don't supply it, the default will be chosen. And after that, I want to basically now um, just paste some text that we can use or like an article that we can use just to summarize it. Okay. I have this one over here. Just going to paste that. And the next thing I want to do is I actually want to process this or do the actual summarization. So I can just say const result is equals to await pipe. We're using this pipe over here and into it, we're going to supply the article and we want to just log the result log the result to the console. Save that. And if I come here, I say, NP, nope, node index, I should be able to get my result. But another thing to note is that uh, it does tell us here, no models, no models specified. So it's using the default. And if it's the first time you're running it, it's going to take a while. The reason for that is that it's fetching the model from hugging face and downloading it locally into your machine so that you can be able to use it. So just make sure also you have some good stable internet. Okay, so now it has taken a bit to run, but it is done. And we can see that um, we've got our summary text over here. And this is basically the summary. So now we can take this a step further and supply additional um, options, for example, we can come here and say, we want the max length to be potentially just say 30 words, for example, and say that and we rerun it. And as you can see, it is now back and considerably lower. And we can actually also be able to specify here a minimum, um, a min length. And we can specify that as being 20, for example, uh, just to push it. And there you have it. I think we can count three, six, nine, 
12, 18, 19. Well, one shot, but I don't know, basically. Oh, well, I guess this can also count as a word because there's space in between them or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how the algorithm is counting. But yeah, there you have it. That is basically the tutorial. Hopefully I didn't waste any of your time and you found this valuable. And if you did, please do like and subscribe. And yeah, leave comments. Let me know um, what you liked about the tutorial or what could be improved or what other type of content to potentially make in the future. Cheers. See you in the next one.